We take you back to the Gold Coast studio and it's Mossy and Robbo for Gold Coast Gold. G'day guys and welcome to the special edition of Gold Coast Gold. Something massive is happening today, Robbo, tell me. Yeah, we're here at the top of the Q1 building on the Gold Coast and we can announce, Mossy, that it is indeed only three years to go until what's set to be the greatest games of all. Absolutely jumping out of my skin with excitement, mate. That's right, and everything's won or lost in the next three years. In fact, we would say in the next three days. So Gold Coast, we know, we're really excited for it to happen. Now, three Ps we've got to take care of, mate. Firstly is planning. Yes. Now, I've had a chance to get out there to the venues. How's, uh, how's it all looking out there, mate? Because, you know, it often before these big games, there's a lot of talk about it. Uh, councils, uh, governments, they get nervous. We've had a change of government. How's it all looking? Well, that was probably the biggest issue we had was Jan Stuckey was supposed to meet me at the airport to fly over. She wasn't uh, available anymore because she's been... She's you know, off playing bridge a- absolutely so i went out there looked across the gold coast looking fantastic uh a couple here Coomera Sport and Leisure Centre well that's where the gymnastics and netball is looking fantastic Broad Beach Bowls Club that's where Kelvin Kirko they're doing the bronze statue yes. of him right now but most importantly the Carrara Sport and Leisure Centre now that's where they're having the badminton and the wrestling I'm calling for a combined sport there have uh, badminton and wrestling all in one so these are all good to go right now Mossy three right. years to go they're ready to roll mate Beautiful. Gold Coast is on fire uh, they could host the Olympics uh, if Rio has to pull out let's, remember, let's not forget there's one thing that hasn't been happening so far I know the new uh, Minister for the Commonwealth Games, Kate Jones. She's got a big task to get this sorted. We haven't got a mascot, Mossy. What? We have not got a mascot. It's three, only three years to go. There's no mascot. I know there's been a little bit of word uh, about it. Mayor Tom Tate threw a thing out on the news uh, about six months ago. Mayor Tom Tate is keen to see the public decide, confirming today he'll open a competition for mascot designs. If the uh, Commonwealth Games don't want to open it, the city will. And let's ask the people what they want. Haven't heard a peep about it since, uh, but Mossy, we've done something about it. We have, mate, and I'd say, you know, as I said, the next three days are the most important. The next three minutes, we're going to decide what the mascot is going to be. So we we are going to name the mascot for the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games in 2018, Robbo. Yeah, well, think about it. Gold Coast. Iconic things about the Gold Coast. Now, there's a little thing that happens each year. Uh, Schoolies, all right? The Schoolies Festival. So that's important. Puts the Gold Coast on the map, some would argue. Uh, in terms of uh, wildlife, Mossy, well, there's the Crumman Bird Sanctuary, there's the Laura Keats, uh, but what about the bull sharks? Mm. We always hear about it. You read the Gold Coast Bulletin, you're reading about bull shark sightings, bull tar- uh, shark attack in the canals, uh, and so, Mossy, we thought no better way to combine the two of those things to create a mascot, and here we have uh, none other than Schooly the Bull Shark. We present to you. And uh, Mossy, I think he's going to serve the games well and couldn't think of a, uh, a better mascot. Genius, Robbo. Absolute genius. Uh, we know the, the only thing the Gold Coast were behind was the fact they hadn't chosen a mascot. Uh, Glasgow had already chosen theirs two years ago before now, but there we go. Schooly the Bull Shark. Mate, let's move on. Now we've got to look at per- the second piece. We've done planning. Now we've got to do personnel. Well, who's coming? And uh, Mossy, this is very important. Already we know Sally Pearson, well, she gave that great speech over there in Glasgow at the handing over ceremony. Um, Kurt Fernley just announced this morning that he'll be having his swan song at the Gold Coast 2018 Games and that's very exciting as well we know he's uh, he's pumped for that I'd be surprised if he doesn't join some of the other para athletics games that are there he'll do it all the clay shooting and the power lifting he, he could uh, perform like that for the next 20 years he'll want to do it all look Mick Fanning he's locked in uh, unfortunately his sport's not confirmed at this stage but we're pretty what? sure with three years to go we'll get surfing in there for Mick he was also a star over there at the handing over ceremony uh, Michael Shelley marathon gold medalist from Glasgow too he's there so a uh, host of great athletes are locked in there Mossy but what about the chief of the mission that's very important that's right it's been Steve Monaghetti for a while I'm calling for him to be upgraded to the the chef of the mission to the uh, Rio games right and I'm I don't know I I can't really Kelvin Kirko comes to mind yeah look he's a good one he's he did so well over there in Glasgow with the lawn bowls team I think he can step up he's a Gold Coast local he's much loved up there he's a bit of a larrikin as well he'd lighten the mood I think of the team and we want to see Kelvin get up there what about Daly Cherry Evans he's going up to the Titans Wally Lewis Rugby, uh, is rugby league one of the sports? It's Mossy? not rugby union. So Crazy. It's madness, isn't it? Crazy. Queensland will put a team in. I'll have to. In, anyway, I'm sure. Uh, look, mate, uh, flag bearer, have you given that any thoughts? Uh, I th- well, I think Kurt Furley might be the really? one. Really? Yep, I'm just putting it out there. He He's... hasn't borne a flag before. And no, should... well, I'm nervous about that. I wouldn't give it to him. I think he'd drop it. I'd give it to Sally Pearson straight away. So, Sal, uh, the flag's coming your way. Start practising, getting that flag out and about in the backyard. Now, Mossy... You know I'm very excited. I'm wearing a few of them here right now. The pins 
Tell me where's that up to at the moment. Can we get some pins already? Mate, you can get pins. Uh, you don't go to our website. You go over to uh, the Gold Coast uh, Commonwealth Games website, so you'll be able to check that out uh, in the show notes. We've got all, all sorts of pins yeah, over here. they're all right, here. Mate. And you can get your very own limited edition three years to go pin uh, just by getting the Gold Coast Bullets, and that's this weekend. Mossy, that's very exciting. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to make up Schoolie the Bull Shark pins, Mossy and Robbo pins. Uh, we're going to be a walking pin uh, distribution centre, Mossy, so can't wait for that. Absolutely, guys. Uh, stick around. We'll be covering the Gold Coast Games all the way up until the closing ceremony where we'll be having a break and getting amongst it, guys. Schoolie the Bull Shark, get all your paraphernalia out there. Hashtag Gold Coast Gold, Mossy and Robbo.com. And don't forget to grab a hold of the best paper in the world, the Gold Coast Bulletin. Well, it's no surprise, Mossy. Bully. The Gold Coast Bulletin, the bully, well, there you go. Need I say more? Absolutely. Game on, Gold Coast.